Today on the channel, today's video, we're going to be fixing a common problem that happens with these old trucks, old Toyotas, most any old vehicles. Mine's 30 years old. The blower motor is making a horrible noise. We have a new motor, we have a new resistor. Stay tuned, we'll show you how to put them in. So at 30 years old and 235,000 miles, Right here is what we're faced with. And third speed is slower than second. So we're gonna fix all that today. We'll go ahead and show you what tools we need to fix it. So far, we've got a ratchet, an extension with a swivel and a 10 millimeter socket. And got a work light, cause right up in here is where we gotta go. Right here, you see these three screws, one here, one over here and one way back up there, which that's what the swivel's for. Also, right here is the resistor thing that we're gonna replace to take care of the uh, fan speed. So wish me the best. I'm gonna try to film part of this while we take it out, but this is real simple. We're gonna unplug these wires first. Then we're gonna take these three screws right here out and drop this thing down, take a look at what we're faced with. Okay, come on little Japanese designer guy. That screw was not even funny. I had to go back and get this, which is not a problem. Let's see if I can get this on camera for anybody watching. Right back up in here somewhere. I don't know if I'll ever get that screw back in or not. All the videos I watched, I wonder why nobody, right there it is, right there, over behind. I had to take the carpet loose. Any video I watched on people doing this, Nobody ever showed getting that back screw out. I have now figured out why. Take the carpet loose, fold it down out of your way because you can't get kind of a fender well and firewall. But um, anyway, three screws. We got two out of three out. Let's go ahead and get the other one out and we'll drop this out. Just want to give a shout out to the little designer guy that put that back in a very awkward place to get to. Way to go, man. All right, we got the motor and the can a fan dropped down out of there. Now, right up there, we need to take those two Phillips head screws out. And you can all see how they're, well, until I cut the light off. The low, medium, high. We're gonna replace that little thing right there and see if we can't get uh, all three, all four speeds on the fan working again. Well, here's the old motor. Of course, you know, you find what you expect the fan would be pretty well covered and stuff from the past 30 years. Little dust. It's semi-free, but you can hear it. I mean, it's served its purpose. Here's the old resistor and here's the new stuff. Much quieter. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this back up in there. Like I said, no thanks to the design. I got a few things to say about that. There's a few things, love the truck. Love the way it all works. There's a few things that they did not take into account that might fail in the future, like these simple little things. You gotta replace them and they're not exactly easy to get to, but I'm not gonna harp on that. We're gonna go ahead and get these parts installed and see if we can do any good on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out to y'all and you all that try this. There is a combination to getting this thing back up in there. One, I've already put the carpet back, but you have to have it rolled out of the way. Number two, when you go to put it in, put the squirrel cage, the fan, put the squirrel cage fan up in there first. Of course, the carpet's out of the way and it'll slide up that firewall. Then watch out for this piece of padding back there. It'll try to catch, but combination is put the box fan in first. Okay. Like I said, we'll go ahead, get this thing oriented around like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and get these screws back in it and we'll see what the results are. All right, the key's on. The parts are installed. I haven't put the carpet back yet, but the parts are installed, plugged up. Let's see, well, let's see what the results are. Low, little higher, little higher, 
Oh, it slowed down. That ain't good. And wide open. That's odd. It's actually like, seems to me like two of the wires might be backwards. That's low. That's the one above it. That one, and that one should be reversed, in my opinion. Anyway, at least it blows better than it did, and it doesn't make any noise. I'm gonna take that plug back apart and see if there's any way to switch the, um, I guess you'd call it medium two and medium three, maybe. See if there's any way to reverse those two wires in the plug. Hold on a minute. Okay, so I took the plug apart, the one I was talking about there, and switched the wires on them between medium one and medium two. It didn't make any difference, so apparently the problem must be in my switch, but we have low. We got what I think would be medium two, medium one, and high. So those two there is reversed. There may be something failing in the switch, but I'm, it works, so I'm not gonna change that out. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll get this uh, carpet put back the way it was. Um, word of advice, uh, like I said, you have to fold this carpet back out of the way. Not too bad a job overall. It's about a 15 to 20 minute job. Um, that back screw, I made a comment about the little Japanese dude that designed it, way to go, and I still stand true on that. There's a few things on the truck that is just uh, tough to get to, but it's a little compact truck and that's just the way it is. They don't build them, I guess, re or design them. And with the intention of us repairing everything, but there's that. That back screw back there, I did get it back in. Word of advice. I think I'd go get my Bible and set it down beside me. Whenever I got done with that screw, putting it in, read a few verses and calm down. Anyway, that's all I have on that. The fan motor's in. Uh, I don't exactly work 100% the way I wanted, but it's quiet and they all work. The uh, medium two works better than it did when I started, so we're going to leave it at that. Got some more repairs and some changes we're going to be doing to this truck this summer. So stay tuned. And like I said, it is 30 years old, so it's going to need some attention. Y'all have a good day. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.